is it, Olive? Did you finish? It's a... it's a... It's time to use a smaller brush. We're, We're still, still not, not done? done? Digging carefully takes a really, really long time. There's got to be a faster way. What's all that shaking? Maybe it's a dinosaur. That's not a dinosaur, Squidgy. It's a steam shovel. Yeah! And that's Sandstone Sam. He's a paleontologist, too. They're helping me dig for dinosaur bones. Oh, cool! I'm digging for dinosaur bones, too! Wow, your shovel is humongous! I bet it could dig up lots of stuff. And fast, too. Yep, I could dig up really, really big stuff! Like the biggest dino bones ever! I'm looking for Colossosaurus Rex! I heard it's somewhere close by. Oh, we're looking for it, too. Yeah, we've been digging all day. And we're about to uncover a big discovery with our brushes. Aw, those brushes are so cute. Well, good luck to you. I'm going to go dig over here. This looks like a good spot. Wow, do you think he's really going to find it, Olive? I don't know. Digging for dinosaur bones takes a really, really, really long time. Found it! What? Colossosaurus Rex! It's huge! Wow! Uh, I, I can't believe it. Sammy's a really good pail of old what's -its. I'm the greatest pail of old what's -its. Now to dig out Colossosaurus Rex and dig him to the museum. Where's that dirt release button?
Excuse me, Olive, we should really find... got just enough fuel for one more try. Don't worry, Wheezy. We'll get it this time. Remember that flying takes a bit of working together. Wheezy's right. We need to work together. Like a team. I didn't know when to go fast or slow. And I had trouble keeping us on course. And I never got to push the blinky button. We need someone to tell us what to do. Like a captain. Yeah. Every good team needs a captain. How about Justin? What do you think, Olive? Sounds like a plan. You sit in the front and steer, Justin. And you sit in the middle to control the speed, Olive. And I'll push the big button. Okay, team. Let's do this. I can see what's ahead, Olive. I'll tell you exactly when to speed up or slow down. Copy that. Squidgy, you keep your eyes on the blinking lights. Copy that, Captain. Eyes on the blinky lights. All right, Speedy Eagle. You're good to go. Coming up on Easy Breezy Bend, Olive. A little slower, please. Copy that. Slowing down. Heading for the Double Butte Twisty Loop. Just follow the arrows. Copy that. such fine flying. Thanks, Feezy. We just have to figure out how to work together. I can't believe we hit super speed. I know. And my face went like this. Justin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my dad. Got a jet. Bye, Bye Olive. See you, Weezy. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squiggy. So long, fellers. Let's try our toy 
play again, Justin. Okay, Squidgy. But this time, let's work as a team. Copy that. Prepare for super duper jet speed. Turning on super duper jet speed engine now. We are cleared for takeoff. In three, two, two one. Super speed! Hey, he's waving at me. Hi, Bruiser. How you doing? Whoa. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's not waving at you, Justin. He's waving at a bat. A bat? I don't see a bat. It's on your head. <laughs> ah, bat, oh, no. He's going to eat me. He's going to eat me. Uh, Justin, bats don't eat people. Shoot, bat, shoot. These were alphabetized. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I don't feel so good. Where are we now, Olive? Hmm, we must be in the basement. B -b -b basement? You are now in the basement. I want you to feed. Fluffy? 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 Fluffy. And his food's in the cupboard. It must be a cute little kitten. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Huh? This doesn't look like cat food. Do Transylvanian cats eat strawberries? Only if they're out of blueberries. <laughs> Kidding. Oh. <laughs> Here you go, Justin. Strawberries are Fluffy's favorite food. Please let him eat as much as he wants. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I've got some big, juicy strawberries for you. Oh, that must be Fluffy now. Ah, it's the bat! It's chasing me! Run, Justin! Oh, Justin, it's just a silly... It's getting closer, Justin! Do something! Just, it's gonna get me! It's gonna get me! Ah! Ah! What is that sound? Oh no! That bat's eating Fluffy's food! <gasps> Poor Fluffy! She'll be hungry! Hey! That bat's actually kind of cute! Oh yeah! Oh, and she's really fluffy! Wait a minute. What if that bat is Fluffy? Maybe you're right, Justin. Is that you, Fluffy? Here you go. <laughs> that is Fluffy. Sorry for being scared of you, Fluffy. Now I feel kind of silly for being scared of bats. Fluffy. I guess this means we're tied now. Then we need a tiebreaker. How about a cheese eating contest? Oh, no. Cheese makes me brothers a wee bit gassy. Hi. Besides, the last event is the Clan Tug of War. Yes, we, we love Tug of War. Whoever pulls the other clan into the mud wins. Huh? Oh. Oh. Strong. Moira may be strong, but we're something they can never be. Super cheesy? No, Squidgy. We're the Justin Olive and Squidgy clan. Right, and together, we're super strong. And we like cheese! All right, Justin Olive and Squidgy clan, let's pick up the rope. YouTube, don't you worry. I won't need you. On three, then. One, two, three! Oh, come on, Paul, Paul! Come on, everyone, Paul! I call this the Haggis Eve Paul! I can't hold on any longer! Justin, I'm losing my grip! You call yourselves a clan? This 
just too easy. We are a clan. Yeah, the Justin Olive and Squeaky clan. Right. Come on, pull together on three. One, two, three, boom! Was this then? They're suddenly putting up a fight. One, two, three, boom! Do you need our help now, Moira? and Squidgy Clan, you won the Highland Games fair and square. Thank you, Moira. You were really great, too. Hi. The McDougals are a fine clan, but we didn't work as a team. And that's why we lost. Come on, lads. Who wants some haggis chocolate chip ice cream? Fare you well, Justin Olive and Squidgy Clan. Bye, McDougal Clan. Kaya, safe and sound, Olive. Great. Now let's get her home. You bet. Up we go. Good girl. I'll make sure Kaya gets back to her owner. Nice rescue, you two. We want to go again. Yeah, rescuing is fun. We have another rescue mission. Lumberjack Bill forgot his lunch. That is an emergency. Nobody wants to see a hungry lumberjack. Luckily, I have a spear right here. Let's go, Squidgy. Good luck. And let me know if you need any help. Thanks, Olive. I'll be okay. To the rescue! Look, Squidgy. That smoke must be coming from the lumberjack's cabin. But there's nowhere to land. That's right. You'll need to use the winch to lower the lunchbox to the lumberjack. Use the lunch to lower the witch box with the, uh... Oh, okay. Lunchbox in position, Olive. Going down. Why, thank you. You're welcome! Olive, the lunchbox is delivered. Great job, Justin and Squidgy. But I just got another call about a really big rescue. A baby seal is stuck on an ice floe drifting out to sea. Sounds like another job for rescue pilot Justin. This one is going to be tricky and dangerous. I've been making rescues all day. How hard can it be? Okay, but let me know if you need any help. Thanks, Ollie. We're coming, baby seal! Whoa, look at those huge pieces of ice. Those are ice floes. The seal is stuck on one of them. I'll keep an eye out for him. <gasps> Justin, I think I see the seal pup. Going in for a closer look. We've come to rescue you, little pup. Do you have enough room to land, Justin? No problem, Squidgy. You did it! Great landing, Justin. Thanks, Olive. I'm going to rescue the baby seal. Be careful. Ice flows can break up very easily. No worries, Olive. I've got this. All right. Now let's go catch Sammy the Kid. You two can ride Chiro, and I'll ride Misty. Misty? <gasps> Misty! Somebody stole Misty. <gasps> there she is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get our horse ready. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on, Olive. Hi-ho, Churro. Let's go. There he is. Stop right there, Sammy. Uh -huh. You'll never catch me. Yeah, yeah. He's getting away. Quick, capture him. Hi-yo, Churro. Oh, Churro. Now, where did that bandit go? Popcorn maker! Unhand that popcorn 
Shoemaker, Sammy, and bring me back my horse. You'll never catch me! Yeah, yeah! Follow that popcorn maker! Yeah, yeah! He's headed for the train tracks! will stand out among all the other colors in the festival. Do you like pottery, Pretty? That clay is a nice red color. Uh, 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 careful, Pretty. Don't get too close. You don't want to go... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> what do you say, Pretty? Do you want to try red like Squidgy? <laughs> okay, everybody. Dip your hands in the red clay. We've got a job to do. Pretty, you look amazing. Yeah, you do look quite nice. Red is a good choice. You do look really pretty, but now it's time to go try another color. Let's go to the yellow neighborhood. Follow me. See you later. Bye. Bye. Yellow! <laughs> now, Pretty, I know you like red, but... <laughs> what do you think of yellow? <laughs> Look, these lemons are yellow. And it's the color of my shiny earrings. And I'm yellow, too! Squidgy, where are you? <laughs> Here I am! <laughs> Olive, 
Preeti, would you like any of my yellow flowers for the Festival of Colors? They were freshly picked this morning. Oh, Preeti, these flowers are beautiful. Yellow is the brightest and happiest color. It is the best. And these yellow flowers will look beautiful on you, Preeti. <laughs> what do you think? Do you want to try yellow? Of course you do. <laughs> Okay, let's get these flowers on Preeti. Uh -huh. Oh, that color does look nice on you. You're so pretty. Yellow is a good choice. Yeah, the yellow looks amazing on you, Preeti. But we still got one more color to try. Let's go to the blue neighborhood. See you later. Bye. Pretty. The blue neighborhood's really nice. Yeah, the sky is blue, and it's everywhere. And blueberries are blue, too. My favorite. <gasps> and the ocean is blue. <laughs> Olive, how about some blue boat bumpers for Pretty? Blue is best. Oh, those boat bumpers do look nice. What do you think, Preeti? Blue is a very peaceful color, and it can make you look very important, too. If you wear my blue boat bumpers to the Festival of Colors, oh, everyone will be turning their heads. And if any boats decide to bump into you, you'll be ready for them. I mean, isn't that what they're really for? How about it, Preeti? Do you want to try blue? You won't regret it. Okay, gang, let's get to work. Wow, you look great. Looking sharp. Blue really does suit you. Like I said, blue is the best choice. I guess Ella found a new friend to play with. And we have to get back to finding the treasure. Right, treasure hole! <laughs> It's the deepest place in the whole world. That's deep. Yikes. It looks like the ship could fall right in. Well, then we'll lose the treasure. Don't worry. We'll get it. Come on. Follow me. We'll need to step down nice and easy. Careful, Justin. Now let's find that treasure. So deep. I knew the Mariana Trench was deep, but that's way deeper than I thought. It's d d dark down there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, phew. I almost dropped it. Oh, no, my shell. I'm sorry, Squidgy. That's too deep to get back. Oh. down there too. Right. If we make one wrong move, we'll lose that treasure forever. What does the treasure look like, Olive? It's a big wooden chest. Oh. Like that one? Good work, Squidgy. You found it. Now let's go get it. Oh, the ship's teetering. What do we do? What do we do? The treasure chest. It sounds 
like Ella. She says she's okay, but her tail is stuck. Oh, no. Ella must have been near the ship when it was rocking. Okay, we just need to tip it forward again to free her. But if we tip the ship too much, it might go right over the edge with the treasure. Not the treasure. I've got an idea. Olive, if you hop off the ship, that might tip it just enough to free Ella. Okay, let's give it a try. Ready? Ready. It's working! Was that enough, Olive? <laughs> no, Ella's still stuck. We need to tip the ship just a little more. Then stand back. I'm coming down. But you're the only thing that's keeping the ship from falling. What about the treasure, Justin? I have to let it go, Squidgy. Helping Ella is way more important. for you. Need extra help this time. We can help. Yeah, we're super sneaky. Who was that? That's my friends, Justin and Squidgy. They'd be perfect sneaky stoppers. Good, good. Justin, Squidgy, welcome to Team Super Sneaky Stopper. Yes! Now, listen very carefully. Inside briefcase is everything you need for special mission. We've got the briefcase, Chief. Good. It's Babushka's bear! You can only see it once a year at the Royal Winter Toy Show. Wow! Now, mission is get the bear back to museum and keep bear safe. Keep it safe? From who? Sneaky Sergei, the sneakiest thief in Russia. Be careful, he could be anywhere. Don't worry, we'll bring the bear to the museum safe and sound. Good luck, team. Thanks, Chief. There should be a river up ahead. We need to get across. The bronze ram is somewhere on the other side. I hear water. Did someone forget to turn off the tap? That must be the river. There it is. What are we waiting for? Let's go! How are we going to get across? This river is just too wide. We need something to make some sort of bridge. Look what I found! A ladder! What a coincidence! We can lay it across the river and walk on it. All right, I think this is gonna work. Good thinking, guys! Hey! <laughs> we need that ladder to get across. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna get to the bronze ramp first! <laughs> Sebastian, he's so rude. He has no manners whatsoever. Now, how do we get across? Yeah, how do we get across? Hmm, all we have is this rope. Aha, I have an idea. Are you up for some paddling, Squidgy? Oh, I love boat rides. Ah, here, don't forget the rope. Now paddle, Squidgy. Let's see now. Stalactites 
will tight to the ceiling while stalagmites might grow up one day to meet them. Stalagmite! Got it! And I'll tie my end of the rope to the stalagmite on my side. There. Done. We'll be right there! That. It sounds like someone's in trouble. Come on, let's go! <gasps> Look! The bronze ram! Whoa! Look at all of these TVs! We can see every room in the museum from here. There's the babushka bear room. And there's the grand hall, where we entered. And there's Sneaky Sergey. <gasps> What's he doing? He's going to the stairway that leads to the roof. What's he gonna do on the roof? I don't know, but I better call the chief. Hello, chief? The Chief, Sneaky Sergey's in the museum, and he's gone to the roof. What? You must stop him before he gets to Babushka's bear. But how? He's just so sneaky. The the sneakiest. Olive, press super sneaky stopper speaker button. I have big speech. Sure thing, Chief. Da, good. Now, as I was saying, in order to stop Sneaky Sergey, you will need super sneaky stopper accessorization. Accessorization? Look above phone. Secret handshake! Super sneaky sticky suction sticker device. Oh, a super sneaky stopper sneaking its job. What he said. But chief, it just looks like a fishing rod. Even though sneaky Sergey is slippery like fish, this device is way more special. The super sticky suction cup will stick to any surface, and the rope it uses can hold the entire Moscow ballet. Got it, chief. And now for you, Squidgy, a package of super sneaky stopper. Oh, I know. Is it super explosive gumdrops? Even better, it is trail mix. Oh, special spy trail mix. It shoots lasers, right? No. Oh, but when I open the bag, it makes a big cloud of smoke, right? Yeah. Is there microfilm inside? No, it's just trail mix, Squeegee. Woohoo! And finally, for you, Justin, super sneaky stopper sneakers. <laughs> But I have a pair of shoes already. Not like these, you don't. These steel sneakers, but press white dot on shoes, stilts pop out to give you boost out of danger. Cool. Can I try them now? No. Using inside small room leads to very big headache. You should now be well equipped to stop Sneaky Sergey from taking Babushka's beer. Good luck, Super Sneaky Stoppers, and be careful. Super Sneaky Stoppers? Put a stop to Sneaky Sergey once and for all. Wow, Justin, it's really hard walking through this jungle. Did you guys hear that? Don't worry, Squidgy. I'm sure it was nothing. It was probably just a leaf. Yeah, you're probably right. Justin, that wasn't me, Squidgy. <gasps> You smell yummy mooncakes? Yeah, my friend Olive made them. We need to get these to the moon festival. The moon festival's this way, right? We just need to keep going straight. Come on, Olive. We need to hurry. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Wait up, Justin. Whoa! Oh, <gasps> oh no! It's okay. I still have two left, and I'm glad you liked it. Come on, we need to get the rest of them to the moon festival. Bye bye, Mr. Pig. You know, if we didn't take that shortcut, we never would have met that nice pig. He sure was hungry. 
F. Oh, hey, and there's Lily. See, my shortcut worked. We almost caught up to her. Yeah, but we still need to hurry if we want to make it to the festival on time. Well, it'll take forever to walk around this mountain, so let's just go over it. Shortcut! Well, on our last shortcut, I did lose one of my mooncakes. But you're right, this will be faster. Let's go. Are you sure this is faster? Of course. It's a sh shortcut. Are we there yet? Wow. Okay, so there's the path. But where's Lily? Oh, there she is. Hi, Lily. I knew my shortcut would work. Come on, if we get down the mountain now, we'll be ahead of her. I'm right behind you, Justin. This shortcut is great. Oh, oh no! Follow that moon king! you ask, Justin? A knight of the round table should be brave, be polite, and help others. Well, I am brave. Oh, yes, he is. And polite, too. Oh, why, thank you, Squidgy. Well, don't mention it, Justin. Great. And I just know we all love helping others. Come on, knights. Or Camelot! Bumbling knight, I am Sir Justin. Stop wrecking Camelot. Ooh, how brave. <laughs> It's not working. We've got to help the king and protect the castle, Justin. Hmm, maybe I wasn't polite enough. Mr. Bumbling Knight, as Knights of the Round Table, we would appreciate it if you could please stop wrecking Camelot. I think you did it, Justin. He's waving goodbye. The king will be so pleased. Thank you, Mr. Bumbling. Have a nice day. Bye. The Bumbling Knight is gone. Yay! It worked. What was that? That Bumbling Knight must be up to something again. What if it's a fire-breathing monster, though? Well, if we really want to protect the castle, we've got to be brave. Come on, Knights of the Round Table, let's go check it out. The sound was coming from this way. Maker. That's right. Get your hot dog. Oh, I love hot dogs. I'll have one well done. Squidgy, remember, be polite. Oh, sorry. Please. One well done dog coming up. Here you go. Oh, thank you. He's going to break all of them. 
I'm going to stop him once and for all. But you don't know what he might do. Don't worry. Knights have to be brave, remember? Stop right there, bumbling knight! <coughs> bumbling knight, you're wrecking the whole castle, so please stop it right now! <coughs> to get his helmet off. Maybe it's stuck. <laughs> it sounds like he's crying. Oh, you defeated the bubbling knight! <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe we haven't been as knightly as we could be. But Justin, we've been telling him to leave really politely. Yeah, and we've been really brave. And we've been helping everybody in the kingdom. Yes, you're right. But there's one person we haven't been helping. Bumbling Knight, do you need a hand with your helmet? Uh-oh, the road is blocked with that log. This log is very large. Maybe I can give it a little push. Step aside, my friend. Make way for Flippy and Floppy. Here we go! Okay. Okay, everyone, the path is clear. Ah, uh, Squiddy. Oh, uh, I meant to do that. Bonk, bonk. Hmm. Oh, Max, uh, why don't you give it a try? <laughs> count on Max. You are one strong reindeer, Max. <laughs> All that lifting must have made you hungry. Let's go get some food. That yummy food shouldn't be too far now. <laughs> We're almost there, boy. We just need to go around this corner. Uh -huh. It's just past that huge rock. Whoa, Max. Our path is blocked again. Nope. Maybe a little too big for me. Bonk, bonk. I'm hungry reindeer. They did walk a lot. Oh, hey, you dropped your antler. Oh. <laughs> hey, you, what, you forgot your antler! Max! Where's he going? He just lost one of his baby antlers. Oh, he's growing up. Is he going to be okay? He'll be fine. It happens to all reindeer. We have to find him and tell him he'll be okay. Fine, Max. Yeah, nobody's going to laugh at you. Mm. Mm. Just in case you want to put it under your pillow for the antler fairy. Oh. Of course, but you need to find your hawker face. Okay, great! So, where can we find one? You see that hut way up there? You need to go see the mask maker. He'll help you find your hawker face. And to help you along the way, you'll need this. <laughs> Everyone, meet Koro. Oh, what a cute ducky. <laughs> He's not a duck, Squidgy. Oh, I mean, what a cute chicken. <laughs> He's not a chicken either. Ostrich? Nope. Ant eater? Nope. Um, echidna? 
Poro's a kiwi bird, Squidgy. You can only find them here in New Zealand. This little fella doesn't fly, but he sure knows his way around the jungle. <coughs> now, you better get going. Right. We don't want to miss the tryouts. Okay, Koro. Let's go find our hawker face. Enchanting. And once we have our Hako faces, we'll definitely get on the team. We should be pretty close to the hut now. <gasps> there it is! Race to there! <laughs> hey, wait for me! <laughs> Come on, Karo! No berries when you're up there. All right, time to get our Hako faces. What game should we play, Saru? Why don't we just play drums? Saru <laughs> says drums are fun, and he really wants to see you play, Justin. Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, Saru. There must be something wrong with this Odaiko. <laughs> hey, where are you going? to play another game. Okay, Saru, we're right behind you. <laughs> Saru! We're gonna get you! Hey, no fair! We can't cross the stream to follow you. Uh, Saru says the answer you seek is right at your feet. Wood planks, hammers, and pegs? I got it! Saru wants us to hammer the planks onto the bridge so we can cross the stream. Right, Saru? Oh, no! This is gonna be a cinch. Hey, Squidgy, pass me one of those pegs. You got it, Justin. Huh? Here, let me give you a hand. Hey! Sorry wants us to hammer at the same time, Justin. Yeah! <laughs> now let's finish this bridge. We kept a really nice tempo? We did. Tempo is how fast or slow you keep a beat. Thanks for that tempo game, Saru. Saru? Where is he going now? Whoa. What is that place? 
place. That's the Nagoya Castle. I guess the next game is there. Follow that monkey! Now, where'd he go? to match his secret knock. Uh, uh. Oh, I guess I got it wrong. I think it's more like this, Squidgy. Uh, uh. Oh, the nibble nuggets. I messed it up. <laughs> I think I got it. Rhythms would sound really cool on a drum. The festival's going to start soon. Come on, Saru, we need to head back now. <laughs> oh, he said he wants to play one last game along the way. He sure likes to play. Come on. Where did he go? Saru! Hmm, I wonder where he is. What was that? <laughs> Saru says it's time to play catch. Olive, you're first. Uh, okay. Phew. Mmm, <laughs> rice cakes. I got this one. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> Watermelons? Saru, no! Whoa. Wow, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> He's gonna drop them all at once! Together? Okay, Saru, we're ready! Yeah, ready for more snacks! Already. I'm okay! Maybe we should go up the middle too. And go for the jump! Yeah, I bet we'd go really high. <gasps> would we fly through the sky? We would if we went off a super ginormous jump. A super ginormous jump on a big mountain? A super ginormous jump on a big Look at all this snow, Squidgy. Squidgy? Oh, come on, come on to the snow. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> oh, hello. What's your name? That's Benoit, my rescue dog. Hi, Justin. Hey, Squidgy. Olive! <laughs> Especially trained to rescue anyone who needs help. Pleased to meet you, Benoit. What are you two doing out here? I'm a ski guide. We are on our way to deliver supplies to the St. Bernard Inn. Down there. Sounds fun. We'll come with you. Sure. 
Here, you'll need these. Skis? Yes! Look out! Remember? But we're still only halfway around the twisty curvy loop. I know. What if we make our train shorter? <gasps> we're going to shrink the train? <laughs> I think Justin means we'll leave some of the cars behind. We could leave the train back at the second station. Good idea. That'll make the train way lighter. Come on, let's go. important deliveries for King Uchu. Can we be Chaskis too? Okay, I could use the help. Great! When do we start, Olive? <gasps> right now. That's King Uchu calling for us. To the palace! King Uchu! We're here! King Uchu, this is Justin and Squidgy, the newest members of the Chasky team. Pleased to meet you, King Uchu! Greetings, Speedy Chaskis. I have an urgent and most important delivery I need you to make. What's wrong, Your Highness? It's getting hot in here. It is very important for a king to be cool. But look now, I'm just droopy. Yep, you are really droopy. Nobody wants to see a droopy king. I must be cool. So what can the speedy Chaskis get for you, King Uchu? High in the mountains above. High above the cloud forest, where the snow is falling, you will find a large block of ice. Cloud forest? Oh, is that where clouds grow? <laughs> no, Squidgy. It's a really foggy forest. It's hard to see, so we'll need to be careful not to get lost. I have a plan to help you find a way. Oh, well, let me get my kipu. What's a kipu, Olive? A kipu is a necklace that I use to help me remember things. 
We can use it to help us remember the king's plan. To get up the mountain to the ice, you must first take the long green path. Green, got it. When you come to a fork, do not go straight, but turn onto the purple path. Purple, got it. Then take the black path and you will get to the ice. Black. Got it? No. no. I did. See? I tied my knots on my kipu to make a list of the colors. Green, purple, black. I wish I had a kipu. Here, Squidgy. I have an extra one. Oh, my very own kipu! When you come back down the mountain, just follow the same path. Black, then purple. Let's see. Black, then purple. Now, this is very important. To come back extra fast, make sure you take the orange path, not green. Orange path is extra fast. Got it. Let's go, speedy chaskies. Good luck! I think that's the best wrapping I've ever done. Oh, yeah. This is the most beautiful piñata I have ever seen. It will hold a lot of candies. Wait, 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 what? It is the perfect shape to be filled with candies. Filled with candies? The best part of piñata party is smashing open the piñata and eating the candy that's inside. Here, Justin. Give it a good whack. Wait, you mean you want me to smash the piñata I made? See, smash it to bits. The stick will break it open and... Candy! The beautiful paper will rip apart and... Candy! Fall into the dirt and... Candy! The beautiful piñata will be gone forever. I'm not sure I want to smash my horse piñata. It's the first one I've made, and I really like it. It is pretty nice. I understand, Justin. The party must be canceled. I'm sorry, Olive, but I could make a different piñata. Then we wouldn't need to smash my horse. That's a great idea, Justin. That's an excellent idea. I make more piñatas. Well, then, please excuse me. I, I have much to do before the party. Bye-bye, Senor Bonbon. Okay, let's get to work, Squidgy. Ta-da! It's a piggy piñata. Okay, so here's one more piñata to add to our... <gasps> my horse! My bunny! El Camino the Mino has struck again. At least he didn't steal my pig piñata. Oh. He took that one, too! That piñata thief took all of them! We need to get them back. But how? He didn't leave any clues. That's it. We'll make him leave a trail of clues. <gasps> <laughs> no, Squidgy, it's corn. And it's leaving a trail that will lead us straight to El Camino's secret hideout. Oh. Okay, now we need to find a good place to hide. Oh. How about behind the tree? Good idea. We'll have a good view of our roof. <gasps> our rooster pinata. El Camino got it already? Quick, we can still catch him. We just follow the corn and it'll lead us right to him. Let's go! Oh, no! Those birdies ate our trail! We'll never find him now. Don't worry, Olive. I've got another idea. I just need some more supplies. Okay, follow me inside. <laughs> Ta-da! Whoa! That's even bigger than your last one. Bigger? And it'll leave a better trail. But the last trail got eaten. Oh, but this one? <laughs> is filled with confetti. What are you feeding your piñatas, Justin? Nobody eats confetti. This will work for sure. El Camino won't stand a chance. Ah! Aha! Oh. Oh, no. He got away again. How does he do that? Maybe we should cancel the party. El Camino is just too clever. Olive, you don't have to cancel the party. I've got another idea that'll help us catch El Camino for sure. Whoa! That waterfall's pretty and loud! What? I can't hear you, Justin! I said that's pretty and loud! Oh, yeah! That is a pretty cloud! Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to the Amazon. 
Amazon, the biggest rainforest in the world. Wow. <gasps> hey, what was that? Over there, I see something yellow. Oh, it's the yellow-billed toucan. She's looking good today. Oh, can I see, can I see? Sure, here you go. <laughs> Hello, Miss Toucan! Good color choice! <gasps> Aw, where'd she go? Hey, look! There's a really cool frog up in that tree. That's an Amazon tree frog. Your colors are extra bright today, Mr. Tree Frog. Hello, Mr. Tree Frog! Nice to meet you! Whoa, Justin! You sure are good at finding animals. Well, I am an expert animal finder. Oh, that Justin. He's just the best. Well, then maybe you can help me. I'm looking for an animal that's really hard to find. The Pink River Dolphin. Pink River Dolphin? Yep. Her name's Carmen. People say she lives just up that river. But I've never seen her before. I want to see a pink dolphin! Me too, Squidgy. I need to check up on her. I'm a conservation officer, and it's my job to look after all the animals in the Amazon. That's so cool! Let's go check on Carmen. Come on, we can take my helicopter. Helicopter? I get the window seat. Justin, Olive, and... Enough of the small talk! It's time to spill the beans! We're looking for a missing kitten. We think he might be here. Hey, I'm up to my neck in sauce and dough here. I don't have room for a little kitty. All right, but how do we know this is your pizza shop? Yeah, his story checks out. Uh, that pizza box looks familiar, though. Yeah. I'm sure we've seen it before. It's the same pizza box we saw in Mildred's apartment. Got that right. I delivered a pizza there myself, but I didn't see a kid in there. I'm real sorry, miss. We've been looking everywhere. Oh, Humphrey? Is that you? This isn't looking good for you, Eugenio. You said you didn't know anything about a missing kitten. Oh, me? Oh, I've never heard that meow before. Not once, not ever. Could have guessed it was a little kitty eating all my anchovies. What's that, Humphrey? No anchovies? That's right, no anchovies. That was Mildred's order for the pizza. Indeed, anchovies are positively disgusting. <laughs> so that's why Humphrey is here. He wanted anchovies. Wow. He must have climbed in through the back window. And look at his paws. Rainbow paws! There. Humphrey must have walked through Mildred's paint set. So that means... It wasn't Betsy who took Humphrey. And it wasn't Milkman Stan. And it wasn't a Genio either. Nobody took Humphrey. He just ran off on his own. Genio, I'm sorry I assumed you took Humphrey. I should have looked at all the clues first. Hey, forget about it, Justin. No big whoop, huh? Thank you all for finding Humphrey. You are the best investigators in all of New York City. 
Thanks, Mildred. Thanks, Humphrey. You kids want to solve a real mystery, though. Hey. How about the mystery of who's going to eat all this pizza I made, huh? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Huh? Hey, what I say? Oh, so it's the best pizza in town. <laughs> Justin! Oh, we've got to go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Milton. Bye, Eugenio. Bye, Humphrey. Bye. Hmm. I didn't notice this cord here before. <gasps> Maybe it's a clue, Justin. Oh, yeah. Dad was supposed to vacuum today. Dad, Dad! I solved the mystery of the broken vase. Really? I was wondering who broke it. Did you hear the vase crash when you were vacuuming? Uh-huh, I did. See, this cord is connected to the wall, and it made the table wobble here when it was pulled by the vacuum cleaner. Oh, so I broke the vase when I was vacuuming. I'll have to be more careful next time. Great detective work, Justin. Thanks, Dad. Case closed. I think that's the best wrapping I've ever done. Oh, yeah. This is the most beautiful piñata I have ever seen. It will hold a lot of candies. Wait, 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 what? It is the perfect shape to be filled with candies. Filled with candies? The best part of piñata party is smashing open the piñata and eating the candy that's inside. Here, Justin. Give it a good whack. Wait, you mean you want me to smash the pinata I made? See, si, smash it to bits. The stick will break it open and candy. the beautiful paper will rip apart and candy. fall into the dirt. And candy. The beautiful pinata will be gone forever. I'm not sure I want to smash my horse pinata. It's the first one I've made, and I really like it. It is pretty nice. I understand, Justin. The party must be canceled. I'm sorry, Olive. But I could make a different piñata. Then we wouldn't need to smash my horse. That's a great idea, Justin. That's an excellent idea. And make more piñatas. Well, then, please excuse me. I, I have much to do before the party. Bye-bye, Senor Bonbon. Okay, let's get to work, Squidgy. Ta-da! It's a piggy piñata. Okay, so here's one more piñata tattoo to our... <gasps> my horse! My bunny! El Camino the Mino has struck again. At least he didn't steal my pig piñata. Oh. He took that one, too! That piñata thief oh. took all of them. We need to get them back. But how? He didn't leave any clues. That's it. We'll make him leave a trail of clues. <gasps> Check it out. <laughs> no, Squidgy. <laughs> it's corn. And it's leaving a trail that will lead us straight to El Camino's secret hideout. Oh. Okay, now we need to find a good place to hide. Oh. How about behind the tree? Good idea. We'll have a good view of our roof. <gasps> our rooster piñata. El Camino got it already? Quick, we can still catch him. We just follow the cord and it'll lead us right to him. Let's go. Supplies. Okay, follow me inside. <laughs> Ta da! Whoa! That's even bigger than your last one. Bigger. And it'll leave a better trail. But the last trail got eaten. But this one <laughs> is filled with confetti. What are you feeding your pinatas, Justin? Nobody eats confetti. This will work for sure. El Camino won't stand a chance. <laughs> Oh. Oh, no. He got away again. How does he do that? Maybe we should cancel the party. El Camino is just too clever. All 
Caleb, you don't have to cancel the party. I've got another idea that'll help us catch El Camino for sure. <laughs> All I wanted was more time for fun. Sorry, Snooze Online, but breaking clocks won't get you more playtime. It just won't. Why not? Because everyone needs to know what time it is. You need clocks to tell time. Well, I don't. Sure you do. How else do you know when it's time to eat? Or when it's time to play. Or when it's time to sleep. Uh, but I don't want to sleep. Today is the funnest day ever. I got to drive a submarine and a hot air balloon and a zeppelin. Knowing what time it is helps you have even more fun. Really? Even at bedtime? Yep. That's how you get rest. So you can have more fun tomorrow. And tomorrow, tomorrow. And tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I guess clocks aren't so bad. Sorry for breaking so many of them. That's okay. We fixed them all. Really? Yep. We're clock keepers, and we fix clocks. That's what we do. And we get to ride all kinds of vehicles and go all over the world. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Can I be a clock keeper too? Sure, if you can make a promise. Samuel Schnoozelnine, do you promise to keep every clock ticking? I promise. Then we hereby declare you an official clock keeper. Wow, thanks. Justin. Time to go. Bye, Olive. Good night, Schnoozelnine. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Sweet dreams, Schnoozelnine. Nighty night, Squidgy. <laughs> I'm going to get my clock back. No more bedtime. Wait, Sammy, don't. But I don't want today to end. Today was fun, but tomorrow's going to be even more fun. Besides, I'm kind of tired. Aren't you? Uh, no. Well, maybe a little. Come on, Sammy. I already set up our sleeping bags. Uh, hey, Justin, wait for me. Today was the best day ever. But what are we going to do tomorrow? Well, we could build a really big fort or climb a tree. And my mom said we can make pancakes for breakfast. <gasps> pancakes are the best. <laughs> Good night, Justin. Good night, Sammy.